Hey there, my name is Helper Wesley, and today we'll be trying to make our Asteroids game fun to play. If you didn't see the last video, then I'm sure there's a link somewhere to it. But we ended up with what you see in front of you now. It's technically a game, but it's missing all of its life. We need to add sound effects and screen shake and particle effects and all that stuff. So let's get started. For now, when the player dies, they just get deleted. So instead we're going to create a particle effect to replace that. We're going to make sure that the ship has a minimum rotation, and that there's only one particle in tank. And we'll make sure to rotate the particle so it starts where the player stopped. And now we have a ship that kind of falls into space. And we'll use a second particle using some points to give it a little more flair. And we could definitely make our game over text look a little more impressive. So we're going to give it a custom font, this being the font that I use for everything GDevelop related. And then if I give it the glitch effect from the effects menu, it will look like this. Which is certainly an improvement. Next we're going to create some debris for the asteroids for when they explode. And just like the ship, we'll be using the texture of the asteroids to make the effect. And doing this just makes it more satisfying to look at when the asteroids explode. A big problem with this game so far is the lack of player feedback, specifically when you get hit. So we're going to go to Behaviors, and add the Flash, or Blink, behavior to the project. We'll slot that action into the event where the player gets hurt. And now you can see that the player flashes when they get hit. Another aspect of player feedback would be sound effects, something that this game really needs. So we're going to open up JFXR, randomize the sound effect until we get something that we like, and then title it Laser Fire and save it. You may want to put in a variable for the sound here, but I'm just going to put in a hard 50 for now. For sounds that happen once in a while, you can just put one here, but for sounds that are going to happen over and over again, you want to have a randomized pitch. Otherwise you're going to drive your players insane. So to randomize something, all we have to do is type in random, and it will show us our options. And I'm going to pick random float in range, and put in 0.9 and 1.1. This means that every time the sound effect is played, it will pick a number between 0.9 and 1.1 to play at. I'll slide that action over to where the laser effect is actually happening, but we're going to do this for everything in the game, which includes a collision effect when the player runs into an asteroid, and an explosion sound when the asteroids explode. And now we need just one more thing as far as effects go, and that's the camera shake. So we're going to add that to the project, and then go to the getting hurt event, and adding it as an action. And there we go. And now for a little more polish, we gave all the asteroids a bunch of animations. So we're going to go to the beginning of scene event, and use the action, change the number of the animation, and this time we're going to use random 3, because the big asteroid has 4 animations and the 0 counts as a number. And now if we start the scene, you'll see that they've all picked a different image. And now for the somewhat tedious part of tweaking things. Making sure that your collision masks make sense with the objects, and then playtesting it. And then making sure that your speeds and densities are all the way you want them. And then you playtest it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And this is a bit subjective, but you keep playtesting and tweaking it until the game feels good to play. I'll make sure to put the link to the game somewhere down below, and you'll be able to pick it apart and play with it yourself. Be sure to comment down below and tell us what kind of tutorials you think we should make next. I have been Helper Wesley, and I'm glad I could help. 